everybody's attention for just a few minutes. We're going to do some quick announcements. Thank you all for coming out to Grape Expectations, which is part of the Booze District, and we'll learn a little bit more about that from the founders here momentarily. Um, many thanks go to our venue sponsor, Grape Expectations. Pretty cool place, and this is one of the barrels that Las Vegas Heels is making, uh, which is pretty cool. I don't know, how many of y'all have made a barrel of wine here before? Quite a few. Hey, Rudy. Uh, it's, it's a great experience, and I encourage everybody to do it. Uh, we're going to take our, our barrel and we'll put it into bottles in probably April, May of next year, and we'll be serving it at annual galas for years to come, which is a pretty cool experience. Anyway, um, thanks to Jennifer Mahar and her team from Adventure for organizing the, the event for us tonight uh, and allowing us all to come and network with one another. Uh, we're also uh, here today to hi highlight healthcare in Henderson. Henderson's near and dear to the hearts of Las Vegas Hills. Many people don't know that we were actually formed out of the city of Henderson back in 2002. And if it weren't for Bob Cooper, who was the economic development manager of the city of Henderson at the, at the time, Las Vegas Hills wouldn't be here today. So we owe a lot to uh, the city of Henderson. I'd like to thank them personally. I know we've got a lot of representatives, including Councilwoman Schroeder here tonight. So thank you to the city of Henderson. They've been an amazing, amazing partner to uh, Las Vegas Hills over the years. Um, our mission of improving the quality of uh, our access to quality health care in Las Vegas and Southern Nevada has not changed. We, that was our mission back in 2002. That is our mission today and we'll continue driving on that mission. Um, a lot of what you see is building up what we call the Eds and Med strategy. That was one of Bob Cooper's visions back in the day, and I think if you look around the room, you're going to see that here in Henderson. Henderson probably has the highest concentration of healthcare educational facilities, uh, from Toro to Roseman to you name it. They have all established a campus out here in Henderson, and I think you're starting to see that proliferate across the valley. It's hard to believe that in 2017, we're going to have four med schools in Las Vegas. That's a huge, huge, huge accomplishment for Las Vegas. Uh, at this point in time, I want to, we've got some special guests in the audience with Union Village. Obviously, that's one of the biggest healthcare developments that's going to be going on in Southern Nevada in years to come. Uh, and to introduce them, I want to have Scott Mulrath from the Henderson Chamber of Commerce come up and tell us a little bit about the Henderson Chamber of Commerce and introduce the founders of uh, Union Village. Scott. Hey, thanks, Doug. Thank you, Doug. Uh, Scott Mulrath, I'm the President and CEO of the Henderson Ch Chamber of Commerce. And first off, thank you, Las Vegas Heels, for everything that you do and the important role that you fulfill. Uh, Charles Perry, he's roaming around back there. and He's on our uh, Chamber Foundation Board as well, so uh, uh, Charles put a, uh, put a lot of time and effort in the Las Vegas Heels. Um, and of course, Councilwoman Jerry Schroeder, so good to have you here as well. Uh, the Henderson Chamber, you know, as Doug touched on, uh, whether it's Roseman, Turo, uh, Dignity Health, uh, Valley Health Systems, you name it, uh, the, the Henderson Chamber is partners with them all. Uh, coming up on November 18th, just for example, we have uh, Dr. Renee Kaufman, who will be presenting on the medical school uh, plans for Roseman University uh, at, at one of our chamber breakfasts. So you can be looking for that event to uh, come check out that message and see what Roseman has, uh, has in the pipeline. Um, today, though, we're, we know we're ex very excited to have Union Village that broke ground uh, a couple, couple weeks ago now. And uh, it's a project that uh, has been, been coming for some time. And <clears throat> as we've seen with, with so many projects now, it's, things are turning into reality. Conversations, dialogues, uh, ideas are, are really happening. And it's a very exciting time to be in Henderson. It's a very exciting time to be a part of the community, part of the chamber. Uh, we're very involved in supporting the construction and development, but of course the, all the ancillary services and demands that the medical community, community uh, needs to fulfill, uh, we are a part of. So, um, but having said that, uh, I'd like to invite Craig Johnson up here from the Union Village team. Uh, he's going to touch on the project and tell you a bit about the, uh, what's coming. So here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. <laughs> no. <laughs> My partner, Gary Holland. Uh, Gary is a co-founder of Union Village with me, one of the four partners. But we're, we're, we're delighted to be in Las Vegas and in Henderson. We had this idea for an integrated health village, and we, and we, we thought that the problem with healthcare is, uh, one of the problems with healthcare is, uh, is you, you have to move across so many silos. So you have a silo of a hospital, you have a silo of a skilled nursing, of an LTAC, 
you have a silo of the pharmacy and a senior living area, and all these things operate independently with each other. And I personally had an experience that changed my life when I ran a hospital in Huntington Beach and we had a geropsych ward and something like 25% of all the admissions in the geropsych ward were because of drug iteration issues. So people had three doctors and four pharmacies and nobody knew what the other was taking because there was no sharing of information, integration of information. So uh, the other thing that we had, we had a campus actually in Huntington Beach which had a, a senior living facility, a skilled nursing and hospital, but nothing worked together because it was not master planned. So our idea was, how do, let's, let's find somewhere where we can master plan this, we can integrate all these silos, we can open them up to just talk to each other, we can integrate over a medical record uh, uh, platform, and we can also bring seniors into the mix. And so my other passion is having senior, having a number of senior living facilities over the last 25 years that, that we always put the hospital in the back 40 and we put the senior facilities in the back 40 and, and we don't want to hear the ambulances and we don't want to see the seniors who are, you know, who are in assisted living. And, and I think that's hogwash. I think we want it all together. And what we learned when we studied this was this, this hospital is a huge economic engine. And I'll give you a really good example. Siena Hospital, when it was built, was Greenfield. There was hundreds of acres around it that were just empty. And the hospital came in, and, when, and, and within a year and a half, there was a million and a half square feet of retail around it. You know, but unlike Siena, who built a hospital and then a, 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 a huge sea of parking, and then skilled nursing and medical office, and more parking, and then restaurants, we're putting this all together on one campus where you could walk from the hospital, out of the hospital, into a restaurant, cross, cross the way into a pharmacy, across the way into dry cleaners, and have everything in a, in a in a real convenient community, we like to call it village. We want to create a community feel with our seniors. And the other twist we put on this is that we're focusing our seniors on wellness. And I think what has happened in the past, I can tell you from personal experience, we have a tendency to warehouse our seniors. You know, we wait till something bad happens and then we take care of that problem, and then we wait till something else happens, we take care of that problem. Well, we want to be very proactive at, at our senior village, at Union Village. And I'll give you one anecdotal story and it kind of it's inspired us to go down this direction it's my mother so my mother was in my assisted living facility uh, and she got diagnosed that she had to go on dialysis so she was given four months to go on dialysis so I got into uh, with my mom and, and I sat down with our nutritionist and our physical therapist and we worked out a, a plan for my mom so she walked every day and she went to the gym and she ate wholly differently and and we got down to the fourth month a month or third month the month before she was supposed to go on dialysis and she had stabilized and she didn't have to go in, uh, on dialysis and they gave her six months and so six months later they came and and did this did, did the test and another six months that was seven years ago my mom has not been on dialysis so it's caught it saved the government probably seven hundred thousand to a million dollars in services and it, my mother's gift of not having to go on dialysis, it's priceless, right? She's been able to come stay with us and, and travel and do some things that she wouldn't have probably been able to do, or at least not comfortable doing. So we're, we want to focus on that wellness piece, um, and we want to focus on, on changing healthcare here in Nevada. We think it's the best place in the world to do it. We see, we see the, the reason why we, big reason why we came here is we saw the ability to, to do medical tourism. If it's going to be done, it's going to be done here in Las Vegas, and it's going to be done in Henderson, and it's going to be done at Union Village. So the goal is to bring, you know, to, uh, some centers of excellence. We're going, to have a, we're going to have, in addition to all the other stuff, we're going to have a hotel there. So we really want to focus on, on that as well as the senior experience and how all this works together. And we want to, we really believe this will change healthcare in Nevada. And I think it will, it, will, it will actually then lead to change healthcare in the world. And we've been contacted by Vietnam, by China, a couple of countries in Europe, by seven or eight healthcare, or healthcare providers in the United States about what is this idea and how can we kind of you know, get in on this. So we're really excited about it. We're excited about being here and working with you guys. And I think what you do here with this organization is 
is incre it's incredible and so helpful to what we're trying to do too. So thank you very much. Craig, Gary, thank you guys for bringing us such a great project to Las Vegas. Uh, we've got several sponsors that are here that I want to make sure everybody is aware of. We've got Desert Radiology that's here. We've got College of Southern Nevada. Um, we've got City of Henderson, obviously the Henderson Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to have Jennifer Mahar come up and introduce you to the Booze District and tell you a little bit about the providers that are here and get you introduced to some of the uh, social media contests that she has going on. Jennifer? Thank you, Doug. I want to thank everyone for coming out to the newly formed Booze District, which includes Great Expectations, as you're here at now, Bad Beat Brewery, as well as Craft House, as well as the Las Vegas Distillery and Great Expectations, again, over there. Um, if you're interested in hosting an event here, if you're interested in setting up tours, just let us know. Uh, my team um, handles the Booze District events, and uh, if any of them are around, they can wave their hands um, and just contact us afterwards. Um, how many attended the gala a, a couple weeks ago? Awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the video. We had um, 374 people in attendance. We recognized over six physicians at that, and uh, we're looking forward to continue growing that each and every year. And um, as Doug mentioned, um, we are making a barrel of wine. That wine will be served at the gala next year. Um, we are looking for whoever wants to be a flagship sponsor, because then that'll be your wine that'll be sponsoring the wine at the gala. So, and we'll have two more events that'll be happening. Um, that the sponsor, if you are the sponsor of the wine, then you'll be able to host your clients here during the process of barreling the wine as well as uh, bottling the wine. Um, next week we have the Institute of Healthcare Consumerism Conference in town at Red Rock Casino. This conference brings with it hundreds of buyers of healthcare. These are large employers that are self-insured, third-party administrators, and healthcare exchange operators, all um, of which steer patients in what we call domestic medical travel. Um, if you're interested in details of the event, we have complimentary passes for any Las Vegas Heels members. Just go to lasvegasheels.org. Um, and then on December 3rd, we'll have our next monthly medical mixer, which will also serve as our annual holiday party. Um, we're uh, gonna be announcing the venue and details in the next week and so start saving up your unwrapped toys um, we always make a substantial donation for toys for tots and I'll go ahead and turn it over to Doug for some additional um, announcements so real quick we have a couple other task forces that meet throughout the month we have our workforce task force that works on workforce issues it's made up of uh, recruitment re retention and education uh, then we also have our legislative task force and our communications task force. All of those, their schedule's been shifted just a little bit due to the Thanksgiving holiday. So be sure to go to LasVegasHeels.org to find out where that date is. Uh, so I just wanted to give that quick update. Uh, over the last month, we'll recognize some of our new and renewing members. Those include Urology Specialists of Nevada, Optum Health, Wangu University of Oriental Medicine, Aardvark Video and Media Productions, Cyrus Aviation, Nevada Orthopedic and Spine, Start Fresh Recovery, Blossom Bariatrics, and then uh, new and renewing sponsors include UNLV and the City of Henderson. So many thanks go out to those members and uh, renewing sponsors. Please enjoy the rest of the evening here. Make it a point to mix, mingle, meet some of the uh, uh, sponsors that are here. They're all here to talk to you and just enjoy yourself and have some wine and some food. Thank you all for coming out. And here's Jennifer to tell you a little bit more. Sorry. <laughs> we forgot about the social media contest. I don't know if you guys got the flyers when you checked in. If you do um, have the best comment or the best photo from the event, uh, the Booze District generously donated a couple of really great prizes. So if you have the best comment on the Booze District's Facebook page, you get to have two Booze District tours at any of the four Booze District members. So if you want to do a full hour tour at the distillery, here at the Great Expectations, at the breweries you can, um, then the best photo will receive um, $220 value where you actually get a tour of every single one of the Booze District members as well as a complimentary Booze District tasting glass and two additional drink tickets per person. So it's a two person um, gift that they're giving away. So make sure to post a photo from tonight's event. Also post uh, your best comment. And then if you do, if you did already use all of your um, drink ticket samplings that are in your cup and you want to get additional tickets, um, you can go over to Brie and you can uh, purchase additional full glass tastings if you're interested. Look forward to seeing everybody at our next mixer in December and continue to enjoy yourself this evening. Thank you.